I'm Tom Davidson with Ripping Kingston Systems. As an accomplished IT firm, we focus on delivering competitive advantage while reducing your overall IT cost. Two of our more popular offerings are our Google Apps and Virtual CIO. I invite you to visit our website or call for a free consultation. Hi, it's Brian Thomas from the 55K RC Morning Show. I hope you're uh, looking forward to a nice weekend. I'd like to point out, as I always do on Fridays, Brian Tiffany uh, over to Brian Chamber of Commerce has a really nice list of uh, holiday-related stuff going on downtown, as you might expect. And it, it's a good, it's a really good list. Talk to Donna Kovrat. She has great, great recommendations in this month's Cincinnati Magazine. It's the top 100 in Cincinnati. So that's in addition, they have restaurants. They also have top 100 everything. So pick up a copy of that, and that certainly will lead you to fun and games in and around downtown Cincinnati. So if you're ever short on stuff to do, 55krc.com is the place. You'll see that blog and Brian Tiffany's uh, list, so grab that. Uh, obviously, Charlie Rangel got censured today. Does it mean anything? I don't know. Who's wailing or gnashing teeth about that one? Didn't seem like that big a deal. And guess what? He went back to his seat. Taxes. Uh, Stinky Reed doing a little manipulation maneuvering um, as, as the House... Uh, did Nancy Pelosi teed up the $250,000 or less bill, which passed. The Senate has already told everybody they're not going to advance that bill. It ain't going to happen. they got 42 senators who stood there and said they're not going to deal with it. They want it all. They want all the tax cuts to continue, and with good reason. Now, ignoring the class envy and the class warfare and all this and all that, and the fact that everybody's taxes are going to go up in January, I want you to pull up my blog page and read the article about the ramifications of letting this date, December 15th, go past without continuing the current tax rates, particularly with regard to capital gains. Now, here's why. What do you think is going to happen to all those institutional investors and all those rich people and all those stock owners when they want to sell their stock? They have to pay capital gains tax. Now, would you rather pay a 15% capital gains tax or a 20%? Would you rather pay a 15% rate guaranteed or wait and hope that the Republican Congress will retroactively reduce the capital gains tax? Would you rather play it safe and sell in December or roll the dice for January or most certainly pay 5% more in capital gains? I think this, the, the, the answer is pretty clear that anybody with any savvy is going to dump their stock in December. And the magic date apparently is December 15th. So. They don't do anything before December 15th. That capital gains rate isn't dealt with. You are going to see an epic sell-off in the stock market, potentially erasing all the gains we've made up this year. Sound like a great scenario, doesn't it? Enjoy your weekend. Have fun. I look forward to talking to you on Monday.